South Sudan's become the 194th nation to ratify the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. As it enters its third year of independence, South Sudan, the world's newest nation, ratified the UNCRC on Wednesday. Ratification coincides with the 24th anniversary of the convention since coming into force in 1989. Now, according to Save the Children, a leading child rights organization, more than half the population in South Sudan are under the age of 18. One third of children are under five, are malnourished, and just 10% of children finish primary school. Now, to discuss more on South Sudan's ratification of the Child Rights Convention, we're joined here in studio by Ruth Koshal. She's the Senior Program Manager with Save the Children, the East Africa Regional Office. Welcome to Africa Live. Now, if we look at this convention that's just been ratified by South Sudan, what does it mean for the country in terms of protecting children's rights? The good thing of having this uh, ratification means that you have a definition of the child, every person under the age of 18, and this goes nationwide. Furthermore, you have the best interest of the child, uh, which is one of the guiding principles of the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. And looking at areas in terms of protecting children from abuse, neglect, exploitation and violence, but also the right for the children to participate and their survival and development. So the convention has several articles and these articles deal with all these four principles, but in relation to health, education, protection, as we've already said, uh, non-discrimination, of marginalized children. Now, now that you've established, or at least South Sudan has recognized the rights of the child, and considering that the country has at least half of the population under the age of 18, without the ratification, how difficult was your job in that country? Before the ratification, South Sudan did have a Child Act of 2008. However, with the ratification, there puts measures where the government of South Sudan can now report to the UN committee and this report will be done after two years and thereafter every five years. So you're putting in place for Save the Children International and other organizations a monitoring and reporting mechanism. And this is very important because then you harmonize various laws in the country with the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. But secondly, you give the opportunity for civil society organizations to prepare an alternative report. So you have the state party report, but they can also prepare alternative reports. So Save the Children International partners with um, civil society organizations to prepare this alternative report. Now, what are the, some of the challenges faced by children in South Sudan that Save the Children has come across? There are several challenges. Um, one of the main challenges is um, having quality uh, primary ed and secondary education. As you rightfully mentioned at the beginning, there is very few uh, children who are finishing primary education at 10%, but also good health care. Uh, it's important to ensure that under five mortality rates go down and children do not die from preventable diseases. And this is what Save the Children has been working on. But also to ensure that the government puts funding and resources behind um, sectors and ministries relating to children. And then finally, ensuring that children are protected from all abuse, neglect, and harm and exploitation. All right, Ruth, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for those insights. We're speaking yes. there to Ruth Koshal from Save the Children.